yes, the people, the headaches, this is the main muscle for suspect. It's uh, the, in the back occipital, we already work on occipital, and the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So always work on these muscles. I see a lot of people not working. When people shows up at the clinic and they like, what are you doing? When I start working on the sternocleidomastoid, people never experience that and they feel really good. So I bring to the side and I'm scoop it out, sternocleidomastoid, and what I'm doing, I just pull this muscle. And you guys already know, we've been talking about this many, many times. I work on the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Yeah, I always bring the head which side I'm gonna work, okay? And really gently, you can apply a little bit of oil. You doing, you doing okay with that oil? Yeah. Yeah, you see? And I really control all my movements. And I scoop all the way oh, up. I can't take it, I can't do it. What's the problem? <laughs> you can. If you can, like I said, you grab really kind of aggressively and pull. And after you start squeezing, squeeze this muscle up, okay? And you work both sides. And this is need to be work. And this is really help for your, uh, for your headaches. It's releasing this. Next one, and I'm gonna show you the whole, uh, after I'm massaging kind of jaw because of TMJ, I'm, I ask my client open the mouth a little bit, just at 30 degrees like this, and I'm pushing on that point. How's it feel? Good. Yeah. Now I'll start open and close. Uh huh. And I feel which side is more tense. And I feel the, the left one is kind of a little bit more. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm holding, yeah, you see? Massaging jaw, absolutely. With great with TMJ, I release all those now. The temp, temple, temple bone muscles right in here. It's really important. What I'm doing, I'm grab and I pull. If you get some oil, it's not gonna be beneficial. It's all for the headache massage, okay? So you ask her to open mouth and close, and you work with that. Now you pull to the side, you pull to this side. You push, you push. You can close your mouth now. Uh -huh. It's really important to work on this muscle. Next one, it's a orbicular muscle around your eyes. We sit at the computer a lot. So I'm gently, I'm gently start pointing right around that orbicular bone. Now I come up up here between uh, the third eye, between your eyes, and I'm pushing up. And you're gonna feel a little kind of uh, groove up there, and I'm just holding very gently, I don't push hard. And I ask him, I breathe, always breathe. How's it feel? You see, she more relax. You can start this technique with this massage, and after you can turn more to more aggressive technique like we did before. But, yeah. And after you stretch this forehead. Oh, look at you, you got a scar up here, huh? Well, you try to steal yeah, some. You try to steal. You try to steal some. You pull my hair. Yeah, you try to. You try to steal some apple from your neighbor. And you follow, <laughs> follow down the the tree. Okay, yeah. same thing. Here, really gently. And the, the thing is, idea go clockwise. So it's clockwise here, and clockwise here, and it's gonna be look like this. You see, it's different ways. Some people doing that. It's because you go opposite clockwise, and this one is going clockwise so you're doing this look different oh, yeah it's look different yeah I mean if you want to mess up with the head yeah you can go whatever you want yeah you can grab the hair you can pull the hair you can release <laughs> yes I know I know it's short hair bold people more cool you know, um, yeah and also Finish with the compressions, okay? And this is, you're ready for the main event. And main event is, you grab this head like we did. You put it on the top and you start tuck to chin, tuck to chin. You start doing this straight. You, you like a roll, roll the bowl, like a bowling bowl, you know? 
-hmm. like a twisting, and this is gonna open your OA joint, and you're doing this. You pull first, and after, you kind of tuck your chin, mm -hmm. tuck the chin. Now you're gonna turn to the left, to the right, I mean head go to the right, to the left, sorry, and you tuck to the right, just like that. Okay, this is the main event. Now turn to the right, to the, to the right, and you talk, talk. Mm -hmm. What is it, pain? No, it's you feel discomfort? No, it's good. Okay, decompress again, and repeat. Talk to chin, talk to chin. And sometimes you feel click, that's good. Don't do force. Oh my god, she said. No, you just. Hair? My hair. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> baby. I'm sorry, I'm not the, <laughs> I'm not the barbershop guy. Yeah. Oh, she's worried about hair. She don't worry about her neck. And yes, you're right. We're definitely going to work on those uh, packs. Drop it down and see how you feel, okay? So this is the. This you got this headache, yeah, yeah, headache and migraine. Analogy. It's help. It's a it's a bunch of uh, points. So the points of release. It's uh, uh, on your chest. It's on your arm between your uh, big thumb and uh -huh. index finger, right in here. Greater relief, tension, headaches. You can also get occipital area. We're gonna show this later. Self care exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys next. What 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 we doing first? We want to yeah. see the motions. So yeah. you know, no worries. So you just you just hold her head. Ask her to turn or help her turn, and you can mm -hmm. see, you can see she kind of a little bit compensate. Now you just hold the head because sometimes people will raise the up, mm -hmm. and ask her just tuck the chin, tuck the chin, and okay. she's she's tucked actually better. You see, twenty yeah. degrees. Mm -hmm. Now she's coming up here, and she turn up here this way. You see compensation yeah. here. I will probably yeah I will probably work on this clavicle. Uh, sternum, sternum, sternum manubrium, and clavicular manubrium joints. Sternocleta, one new. <laughs> Sternoclavicle joints, yes. Mm -hmm. And ask her to tuck. Can I tuck? Yeah, you see, she's really struggling on her side. Yeah. Good. Now, we bring to the 45 degrees. You can, if, if you're a woman and you, you don't want that, you, you can put the pillow up here. Yeah. But, yeah, you see? That's it. You can actually work this way. See, I'm always work. I'm holding with my, mm -hmm. with my belly. If you got big belly, it's good. <laughs> Someone say big belly is bad. No, big, big belly is good. <laughs> so you push this way, and you can work. But now you ask her to turn, and look, she's good. Now turn this way. It's 20, 20 yeah. degrees. Right? 45. Mm -hmm. This one, 45. Yeah, 45, 45. Go ahead, try to do it again. Put my bed in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. All right, girl. Put my bed. 45, yes. You can put a... Yeah, don't, my belly don't work. Don't, don't, <laughs> no, don't, don't, go, don't go so high, 45. Yeah. You're doing good. No, push with the belly. Yeah, right there. Let, let it go. Ooh, magic, slip. magic. She's not going to slip. Push <laughs> more. Like, use your body weight. Oh, okay, yeah. Use really your body weight. Really nice yeah. Way. Okay. <coughs> Use I your body weight. With my <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, if, you, if you have any, if you have any like uh, like a booty problems, I mean the girls, you just use something like this. Roll pillow a couple times, mm -hmm. and you come right here. Okay. You see? Okay. And that's it. And it's actually better. And you see, I can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> with my belly. But what if their neck is tight? Yeah. Is that compression it. bad? Like you're 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 compressing it down. Yeah. So, so that's not we, good, right? No, remember we decompress. We decompress. Oh before. Yeah, yes. And this is the test. We're not we're not doing any treatments. So we we test her. We see it's forty five degrees. And we we wanna see if she's not turning forty five, that means something in her uh, lower partial of the neck is stuck. Okay? And this is I can see, yeah, it's better now, but she still compensates that shoulder. She's doing that constantly. Because it's higher. It's yeah, so this, there's something going on with the shoulder. I will probably work on that uh, joints up here in the clavicle and see if any movements up here. Yeah, but something going on. And, and remember, she has scoliosis. 
Yeah. yeah. So now go go ahead. Okay. Go ahead to the scoops thing. Let's go ahead, do the scoops. Do decompression. Do decompression first. I forgot the decompression part. Oh, yeah. the, with the belly? No, you just place your hands oh, and lift. And pull. Uh -huh, and pull. Dominate at the bottom. bottom. And make sure, make sure the foot is moving. Alright, dominate at the bottom. Uh huh. Hold and it like this. Pull. Okay, right. And you just pull. Right, right. With your body. Uh huh. It's like, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and let, let it go. Kick it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me help you out. Oh, no, that ain't no, 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 no. Like, let, just hold you. Just, just hold. Just hold your arm up there. Hold it now. Pull it back. And you're doing this. Hold on. Let me hold your hands. Put your hands. Put your hands again. And then, because you're grabbing it straight from the occipital, I'm starting okay. from over here. Yeah. So you oh, because okay. my because my, my, my because my arm he's is overlapping yeah, his hands. Okay. Oh. Arms. Okay. So mm -hmm. and that's right. This can we keep this side? Just this side. Yeah. Because sometimes your hand, you know, we have a small hands. I just keep this side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If if you guys if you have issues with with with, with this like yeah keep this side. Like watch. that. Yeah, that like this is good. Like watch. that. If you want to okay. decompress, mm -hmm. come up here. Mm -hmm. Let, oh, let it go. Let it go. And you just. Make sure it's not, and you just lift it up. You see, lift it up and pull, and you just shake it up. How's it feel? Good. And you, and if, if this is if this is slip away, you you wrap around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you grab it like this. Oh my so god! You, you grab like this, and you relax, relax, relax. You're doing this. You see? No, the first one is better. <laughs> This one is better. I think it's better. Yeah. yeah. Because you think someone choked you, huh? Is that but better? You did, you know? You keep the way that it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's because my it's hands good. are smaller. Yeah, I yeah. did the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This is yeah, there we go. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, so it's it's Thank take you. time. It's take time to learn. All this yes. side, you know? but here yes. it's good. You know? yes. so, so we just finished our headache headache therapy and migraine. How do you feel? Good. All open. Yeah. So self care. If you guys just do massage to person and uh, she's not doing anything, she's go back to her routine. It's it's gonna come back more and more, and of course sometimes the the smells aggravate so bad or color or sound. I really recommend uh, my clients to do some really like relaxation music or bilingual uh, vibration or sound, and it's really help. Uh, just sit down and kind of meditation position or lay down and listen to this music, and it's gonna really help you out. But the main idea it's um, massaging your neck. If you guys start feeling the headache, you just turn your head, you find the sternocleidomastoid. Go ahead, turn, uh huh, you find it? Mm -hmm. Good. And you just squeeze and you go all up and down. If you feel pulsing sometimes, that's when you, you hit the artery and you don't want to push hard on that part. And sometimes people like feel like a tingling right above your eye. Uh, this is normal. You, you, you probably hit the trigger point and that's like some radiation up and down happening. So this is the main idea. Yes, also massage your eyes, grab your hands together, like create a heat, place on your head, on your eyes and kind of scratch, like massaging your eyes. Also gently push right into your arm, like a eyeball inside, really gently pressure. Don't poke your eye out, you still need it. And just work around like I said, sometimes temple bone too, just pull into the sides, jaw, same thing, you open your jaw, uh-huh, and close and open your mouth. And if you have TMJ, it's really good exercise. You can do two fingers, you can do one big tunnel, and sometimes you feel it's like one open is really nice, another one is kind of stuck. You can also readjust it by yourself, really easy, just... Uh, yeah, be gentle to yourself. The next one is a towel. We've been already talking about these towels. I'm going to show it to you. You're going to place the towel like this on your neck and lift it up. So lift it up 40 degrees and what you're doing, 
the one side is going down, look, they're going down, and the other side just pull to the side, and you resist it, and kind of try to resist to the side, and switch sides, okay? Try to do that, okay? So, drop it down, uh-huh, now pull it up 45, now one drop, and now start twisting this side. When you twist, try to resist, so your head is trying to turn back to the left, but you resist with the towel, you create, you reactivate his muscles, how does it feel? Mm -hmm. So you see, you know, like this one is dropped straight down, head is turned, only turn, and you hold. Now your head try to turn this way position. Yeah, you try to turn, try to turn, and resist, uh huh, and let it go. Yes, it's really good stuff. And as as in the beginning of a program, uh, you can also do like lift it up and look up, lift it up and look up, and you pull, 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 pull. And let it go. And it's all different stuff. You can do crossing. You can do, you see, this one has come up here, and you do the same thing. You just create that really nice uh, kind of resistance and muscle reactivation. And the best exercise, it's a wall angel because we slouch forward. This is the best exercise for you guys. The wall angel is correcting your thoracic area, your neck, and your lumbar area. Because remember, the problem is it's not just in one spot. You one whole piece and you need to treat one whole piece. And most of the time it's a sacroiliac base is not even and that's the cause of the pain in your neck and you got headaches. So stay away from working more than eight hours at the computer desk uh, and take care.